Hello everybody, it's Kobe PvP bringing you another Black Desert video. This time we're giving you the Ninja class overview. The Ninja class is the latest class to be released in Korean Black Desert Online. It is the male equivalent of the Kunoichi, which was released some time ago, with some slight modifications, slight alterations. Just like all my other class overviews, uh, this is not going to tell you how to play this class. It's merely a video to kind of inform you how the class plays, what I think are its pros and cons, so that when you do want to pick a class to play, hopefully you'll be able to refer to this video to see if the ninja class is the class for you. So let's talk about the gameplay of the ninja class. The ninja class is a highly mobile, highly fast-paced class. All of its attacks about kind of really dishing out damage really quickly, going in and out of combat. Um, pretty much what you would kind of expect from an actual ninja. Uh, it does have stealth. Uh, it's not as long term as uh, other games might have. For example, other game ninja rogue classes have really, really long term stealth skills that you can pretty much be in stealth for 45 seconds to infinite uh, time. Uh, in this game, stealth lasts about 12 seconds or so, um, so it's quite short and it has about a 30 second or so cooldown. So it's not a class that is meant to remain in stealth, come out real quick, do some damage and go back into stealth. Um, for example, I know a lot of games have like an assassin type class where it's all about stealth, where you go into stealth, you attack, you come out of stealth, you're a sitting duck. Um, the ninja class in Black Desert, I would say, is very good in terms of uh, having sort of an equilibrium with, between stealth and fast-paced attacks. Now, another thing about the gameplay is, as I mentioned, it is a fast class. Um, and if you looked at my previous, you know, Blader overview, I, I mentioned that, you know, the attacks seem to be a little um, paper-like. There's no weight behind it. Uh, the ninja has the same issue, there's no really weight behind the attack, but the addition to this is that since it's a ninja, it's a very fast moving, fast attacking class, honestly I think it met a perfect equilibrium uh, with it. You can kind of see in the video, the attacks, even though yeah, it doesn't seem like it has a weight behind it, it seems very fitting for a ninja class, that you know, people that play it would want a really quick quick attack rather than a heavy attack. So now let's talk about the pros of the ninja class. What makes it so special and so strong? Uh, other than the mobility and the attack speed that we discussed in the initial stage of the video, one of the big things that you'll realize about the ninja class is the sheer number of self buffs that this class has. For example, you get a buff from your smoke screen that increases your dodge, or increases your, I guess, avoidance. Uh, you get another buff from your left and right attack that increases your attack speed. One of the first skills that you'll get is the double jump that increases your speed, so you're able to kind of either run away from opponents or catch up to opponents faster. Uh, there's a attack speed buff, or attack damage buff rather, on your on your wood, wooden block. Uh, another one is on your leg sweep, you get a down attack uh, buff that increases your down attack skills. And then finally, the biggest thing that kind of is the synergy that provides with all, all, the, all the buffs that you get. For example, you can do something like where you go left and right and then all of a sudden you pop your, your wooden block to get the damage boost. Use your down and F to get your down attack boost. So now you have a damage boost as well as a down attack boost. So all your damage is doing a ton of damage. And then, not only that, the ninja class also has a ton of debuffs as well. For example, your um, let's see, your your leg sweep uh, gives a debuff where all all defense of the targets that are hit are reduced by 17 and at max it reduces it by 20 so let's let's do a recap you have an attack that increases your attack you have an attack that increases your down attack and then you have a debuff that increases 
the enemy or decreases rather the, your enemy's defense. So put all that together, you get a really really hard hitting skill. And this is again one of the really cool things about the ninja is all your skills synergizes really really well with each other. Another benefit that I'll talk about about the ninja is how most of its skills are quite high in terms of per damage percentage. Right here I have my 51 blader and you can see most of his skills, uh, most of his A rank skills are about the three, the 400 is the ceiling. Most of them are in the 300 range. Even its ultimate is about 400, 400% uh, damage. Now if you look at the ninja skills, majority of them at max level are, are way above the 400 plus range. For example, one of our bread and butter skills, the shuriken rainfall thing, at max it's already at 426 times 7. Our ulti is already very close to 400. It's actually around 396 to 432. Let's use the lower bound of 396. And you can see majority of our skills are above the 400 threshold at max levels so this one 545 this one 620 the ankle one 251 times 2 this is a very quick and easy skill that you can pull off our grab is 985 which is a huge number our heart seeker is 970 again big numbers um, our left and right attack are 232s so you can see like majority of our skills are you know really high hard-hitting skills compared to other classes so let's talk about the cons of the ninja um, there is not really a all-powerful super strong class it does have its own set of uh, pro, pros and cons for the cons I would say the biggest one that comes to my mind is that there is a severe lack of leech skills and what that means by that is there are certain skills in black desert where when you cast them you get health back when you do when you deal damage for example the biggest one that comes to my mind is the bladers blind stab combo that's able to take you from pretty much 50 percent health if not you know 25 percent health all the way to 100 depending on how many mobs you hit now there's other skills for example a sork where it doesn't give you as much health but you're able to kind of cast them near infinitely, I would say, without any uh, significant cooldowns. The ninja one is a somewhat of a l really long combo. So you, you have to do your down and E, which teleports you. And then you got to combo that with insular shadow sect, which is kind of a kick. Um, and from my experience, you have to actually slot this as well uh, in order for you to pull it off somewhat correctly otherwise you're gonna miss your spacebar uh, window so it, not only does it give you very little health back uh, it also has a really long cooldown it's 18 seconds so you, you don't really have the um, you know the defensive capabilities of a blader the, the ability to get your health back in a tricky situation uh, that a blader or even a, um, a giant would have with, with their spin to win. So the next negative that I can think of is again it's not a big negative but it is a negative in my eyes is the sheer number of skills that need to be slotted for a ninja. Um, all the other classes I s felt as if there's only one or two skills that need to be slotted but with the ninja class there's a lot of skills that have to be slotted uh, some because of bugs for example the chase target and your down and Q which is right here uh, they sh both share the same skill combination down Q and down and Q so because of that chase target cannot be cast unless you slot it uh, I expect that to be fixed in North America but there's certain other skills that need to be slotted for example your stealth uh, has to be slotted there's no skill combination for it your uh, what I call the shuriken rainfall uh, it's called moonlight black that has to be slotted there's no skill combo for it your smoke screen needs to be slotted so the next negative that I can think of is again it's not a big negative but it is a negative in my eyes is the sheer number of skills that need to be slotted for a ninja um, all the other classes I s felt as if there's only one or two skills that need to be slotted but with the ninja class there's a lot of 
so that pretty much wraps up our ninja class overview if you watched it this far hopefully you learn somewhat what the ninja class plays like its pros and cons and to kind of get a feel if this is the class that you should be playing in north america uh, if you guys liked it please let me know what you liked about it or uh, if you didn't like certain aspects let me know so i can actually change it uh please do subscribe to the channel i'll be doing a lot more black desert videos as well as other mmo games so please do like and subscribe and i'll definitely see you guys next time